Hi, I'm Tavel Bristol Joseph, and this is Taste of Guyana. Guyana is on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. It's right next to Venezuela, Suriname, and Brazil. It's a mix of culture, a lot of Indian cultures there, African, Amerindians, uh, Portuguese. Guyana is such like a mix of all these different cuisines together. And until I came to America is when I actually saw the separation between cuisines. It's all used to be just Guyanese food and it's this blend and this mix that's what's really special. This roti means a lot. Waking up on Sunday morning, my grandmother is like clapping roti. For breakfast, you'll put eggs on top. And then for lunch, some type of like stew beef or something. For dinner, you were probably gonna eat it with dal or we eat it with curry. So let's get into making our roti. I love using white sonoran flour. It's a fresh milk grain. It has a lot of nutrients. It brings so much texture and bite. We are making a well here to mix in your wet ingredients a little at a time. Anytime you make your roti, we're gonna get our hands dirty. It's actually fun. You get a chance to kind of like play a little bit. It feels accomplished when, you, when you're able to do that. And as a kid, I wasn't even allowed to touch it. The only thing I was allowed to do was eat, which I didn't mind at all. My grandmother did not measure anything. I had to basically watch what she was doing, write it down and imitate it over time. And I think it's most traditional dishes. Like asking for a recipe is like asking for a firstborn child. Like it's like, wait, what? No, we don't do that. As I'm mixing, now you're gonna see the sides of the flour is gonna start to come in. I'm also feeling all of the textures it's pulling away from the bowl. That means that I have enough gluten structure developed here. It's wet enough where the dough comes together, but yet still sticky on your hands. And you see, look at that. This is the fun part for me. The first thing you wanna do is oil your board. You never wanna add any more flour to this recipe. The more flour you add, it's the more dense your dough is gonna be. Oil your fingers because when you touch the dough, you want your hands to come right off. We're gonna get about five pieces of them. My dough now, I have the portion form a nice little ball. I am the pastry chef and partner at Emmer and Rye, Henbit, TLV, Kalimocho, and Hestia. Did I, did I forget a name? <laughs> Going to culinary school is really important. Being an immigrant, coming into a culture, you have a lot more to prove. Having a degree was very important to get me through that door. Without a degree, I, I don't know if I would have been here doing what I'm doing to be able to move forward in my field. You call this laminating. Cut from the center of the dough out. You're just folding the dough over upon to itself, creating those layers in the finished product. So now I have this cone. I'm gonna take this side, I'm gonna plug it in while holding the bottom. Put everything on the inside here. I don't want the dough to spread out and unravel. Put it back on the sheet tray. From the top, I'm gonna press that all the way down. That is our first roti. I got into cooking basically through punishment. Every time I stay out late, my aunt, as punishment every Saturday, she would have me bake cookies and pound cakes and stuff. Our Sunday school kind of snowballed from there. Just by making this dough with my hands, I'm not only having these memories of making it, but it's also the memory of touch. The way how something feels is so powerful. The power of touch and the power of taste is what makes a great chef continue to be great. So, just took my roti out of the refrigerator. They're nice and set. Let's get to cooking, right? I'm gonna turn this on right now. About six inch round. 
on each side go for about three minutes or so, right? While that is cooking, I'm gonna roll out the next roti. I'm seeing these ear pockets on the surface of my roti. Look at that. I love when I see these little crystallized sections on there. It tells me that I'm gonna have a nice crunch. Nice caramelization on both sides. Now I'm gonna transport this into my bowl. Now I'm gonna add my second roti. So while this roti is hot, this is a very important space right here, right? We wanna make sure we cover it with a plate and you wanna shake it. Put some muscle into it, right? You wanna give it a few shakes. We wanna open up all of those air pockets. You see how all this gets all flaky? You see how that opens up? That's the beauty right there. Roti, you know, it's really from India. The Indians were pretty much the last um, set of um, slaves that got to South America. They were called indentured slaves. Um, so it's basically another word to say you're free, but you're still working um, on these plantations. They brought all their culture and all their food. And this is one of the things that they brought. Anywhere you go throughout the Caribbean, roti is a staple. I was so excited to make it today because it's just something that normally you would, you know, find in Indian cooking and Indian cuisine. But I wanted to showcase to say, hey, this is also part of our culture. And obviously I put my twist on it. When my grandmother made this, there's the process in making roti, it's called clapping where you literally throw it up in the air and you clap it because it's so hot you can't hold it. You clap it before it touches your bowl. It kind of rips apart, which is totally fine because it's about eating with your hands. You see how the dough kind of fell apart? So look how much more it fell apart than this process. Man, this looks so good. I want to try it. We got to get an up close shot of this. It's beautiful. It's flaky. And we got all of these layers all by hand. And you have these caramelized little nuggets here that just adds to that crunchiness. Sometimes I see people eating roti and they're using a knife and fork. And I'm like, what are you doing? This is about eating with your hands. This is about like creating the perfect bite. I think I'm gonna get the perfect bite right now. So I'll enjoy this. Oh, so good.